Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all doing really well. So today is an exciting video because I'm doing a collab with a friend of mine who's on YouTube called Passive Floria. All her links are gonna be in the description box below for you to check out. But she's asked me to build her a house, specifically a house in Willow Creek in this area here. So in one of the updates, they like updated it so each neighborhood has a name, which is kind of cool. So she wants one in the Sage Estates. Willow Creek's most desirable area, Sage Estates features a large, sprawling estates, lush landscaping and the best high quality society to offer. I completely read that wrong. So it's one of either of these and she says like a medium to large build. So I'll be doing the exterior and she'll be doing the furnishing which is quite good because it means I have more time to spend doing the exterior and I can also use as much custom content as I like because Passive Gloria is the queen of custom content. She has so much so much so many cc videos for you to download so go check her channel out for sure if you like using custom content in your game and like watching sims builds and ca cabs cabs cas i think i'm gonna do it in this one here because i'm not gonna lie this house is kind of gross so anything for the chance to get rid of it <laughs> i mean to be quite honest it's not an awful exterior i quite like how the sims have done it compared to some of the more recent builds that we get in packs this is actually quite nice what I'm kind of thinking is she didn't tell me that there was any specific theme just that it kind of needs to fit the area which I think I can go I can do I can definitely do that I'm gonna make like a hey, white cottage because I just like cottages and I like using white also my note is running around the room I can't see him I'm gonna go like medium and then maybe have quite a nice back garden because I assume if she's doing the inside I can do an interesting back garden a few of these on the outside kind of keep them even okay I did save some pictures because I don't know when it comes to inspiration I find it hard to like make my own inspiration Pinterest is just the way forward it's just when it comes to like shapes and stuff I think that's what I struggle with so I like the fact that the pictures give you a little bit of inspiration of how to go about the shape I just want like a little room jutting out here maybe like a big one and then we can put windows and stuff uh, I think that looks kind of nice maybe if we even I've not I've never done this before but if we pull the roof out and and I've seen people do it they make like a little square and then that's a pillar obviously it needs to line up a bit better than how I actually I should know what that's not bad it's lined up yeah have this as like a little pillar over here okay that's looking kind of cute and then roofing <laughs> roofing 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 I do not enjoy we have one tall one coming out here okay you know what the shapes come in together so much quicker than I thought it would I want that one to be like a nice big roof these let's builds I swear you guys are just watching me talk to myself and being like eh, eh, I don't know I don't know I don't know what I'm doing okay I like that for the front of the house obviously once we've got the windows on and stuff let me just see how much room i've given it inside oh that's a really weird small room <laughs> she's not gonna enjoy finishing that maybe i'll change that a little bit that looks so strange you know what i want to do i want to add a bit of a diagonal on sorry sorry passive floria i know diagonals make <laughs> really hard rooms to furnish but oh okay i like that shape i am enjoying that shape right let's work on the back a little bit the front of the houses always turn out so well and then the backs are like uh, uh, don't know what I'm doing now does that roof look weird it's fine if we add like a column that looks weird that is looking weird I've made roofing hard already why do I do this to myself <laughs> that that bit's a bit weird I understand that but yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, this is that's what we're going for. All right, so I'm gonna I'm keeping an eye on the floor plan because I really don't want to make it too disgustingly horrible for Passive Floria to furnish. Also, I'm so excited to see what she does with it. I really want to add like a little conservatory area area on. Oh, or oh, actually, what about what about if we make this a little bit smaller? Because I don't mind it being a little bit uneven, uneven, see, uneven, see, uneven, <laughs> uneven is that a word? And then if I do like a little half wall maybe we can have a little patio area i do quite like that on them on builds and that means we can have a cute little back garden area here and maybe i'll just do some landscaping because we've got lovely forests behind us i think if i do a nice big forest area behind here then it kind of means um it's quite private compared to that house so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I feel like that's pretty foresty. Well, maybe I could have played with terrain a bit. Go a little bit crazy today. Go a little bit mad and play with terrain. Gonna really regret this. But I'm just thinking if we have like... Okay, 
okay i'm quite proud of that i'm not gonna lie i'm quite proud of that little back backyard area let's go ahead and try and make a pool look good also now it's, it's gonna make making the house doing the house so hard now because there's so many trees up but yeah what have i done what have i done so for the pool i do, does it need a pool does the other house have a pool no the other house doesn't but uh, my house is gonna be a bit more bougie Bo i can never say that word bougie bougie than the other house so we can have a little pool oh we've not even put like foundations or anything what am i doing if we just put it up a few bits does it need a pool i don't know i don't feel like it does we'll make it more like landscape it than pool it but i'm gonna go ahead and wait what's happened to where's my roof gone why has my roof disappeared strange i'm gonna go ahead and like start roof it is what's happening yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start like decorating why is this saying that it's not on an even base when did it get deleted it, does it not like the house being on why does it want the house to be on foundations that's so strange why can't it be on foundations and not have a roof it's just gonna have to have no foundation which not really look alike okay right we're gonna start decorating then let's forget about the fact that it can't go on foundations and i'm gonna be using a lot of custom content in this because that is the mood that i'm in um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this white sliding because we're going for like a white cottage. I don't know what I'm doing. This is just how the house is starting. I wish you could make roof, like the roof root into actual rooms. Because can you see how you can see through that? And that looks really weird. I just really don't enjoy that. <laughs> I guess I could make these a little bit smaller like that. I don't like the look of that quite as much. Oh, they're kind of cool. I don't feel like it's looking like I wanted it to. I've made it too big for myself and I don't really know what I'm doing now. Ah, uh, okay, maybe this door. Because I want to keep it looking kind of traditional in a sense so it matches the rest of the world. I'm not sure. Let's change the roofing colours. Okay, I'm struggling with making the exterior, like, interesting enough. Maybe I can add some stone in. I don't know, guys. I'm struggling a little bit. I was like, this will be great. I can spend so much more time on the exterior of the house and make it look beautiful. And eating my words now. I'm eating my words. I think I'm going to change the poles because it's almost a bungalow shape rather than a proper two-story because there's not really much to the second story because I've tried to make the shape so interesting. <gasps> Why did I start that? Yeah, because as you can see, that's the only bit of the upstairs. Adding freezers and all that kind of stuff is not working out very well for me. Oh, does making the freeze like a dark grey add something a bit interesting to the build? Maybe I should make the roofs like just a little bit darker so we're going with like more of a black and white theme. Okay, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's coming along. It's definitely coming along. <laughs> she says, she said, I don't know if I believe myself. Oh, we can add, ooh, oh, we can add this. Yes, I like this. I like it because I don't really understand why I can do that sometimes and sometimes I can't. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means, but it's happened. I'm going to keep the edges of the roof white just because I quite like how that looks and that means if I just move the windows up slightly I do love that we can now oh no that we can now like move windows up on its own does that look kind of cool so they're not all even maybe we could add a little skylight in yeah a little skylight a little skylight mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know did it look better before I'm gonna leave it because it'll mean the interior has a little bit of excitement look at that I mean to be honest you can barely see it but the windows maybe look a bit weird from the inside but I'm doing the outside so I'm not worried about the inside the windows definitely look pretty grand now so I'm liking what I'm doing there so I think for windows and the front I'm um, just gonna leave it. Just gonna leave it. And now this is where I struggle because <laughs> just where do you put the rest of the window is to make it look good and not make it look too windowy. I'm having real issues with the windows, honestly. I just want them not to... <laughs> just don't get rid of each other. Just, I want you all. Okay, that looks kind of cool as though the back door's open. What do we think? And I kind of want to do that up here as well. I love these doors so much. These are from the bathroom set. Everything will be linked down below for you to download for yourself as well if you're into building custom content. Right, last window bits. I don't know whether to just like mimic what I've done at the front. Maybe that'll make life a little bit easier. <laughs> that Why is that so not even? Why am I so bad at windows? Like, how? Okay. Okay, that's the shape and that's the windows and that's the roof. And now I'm just gonna like landscape a bit more. I don't know whether to make this glass less fancy. I like that a bit more because yeah, 
yeah, I just do. I don't need to justify it. I just do. Okay, so in the picture that I'm looking at, because I've now just decided I'm building the picture that I'm looking at, they've got a cool little like round thing going on. So I'm gonna attempt to do that myself. Don't hate it. Don't hate it, not gonna lie, don't hate it. Now if I go ahead and maybe like do my age old trick of putting rocks all the way around it, it won't look as strange. So give me 10 hours, about 20,000 rocks later and I've decided I can't, I can't do it all the way around. So we're just gonna leave that and I've put some little baby rocks on the inside, which is kind of cute. Maybe I'll do a few decorative rocks here. If we just add like a little bit of like that in there. And then around here, I wanna add like nice things, nice things. Some hedges and that kind of stuff. Okay, I think that's turned out how I wanted it to. Around here, this is basically how I <laughs> how I build houses just add so much greenery so nobody can see like the mess of the rest of the house. That is my trick. Greenery. That's kind of cute. Oh, I want to put them in a planter as well. We have planters, don't we? I saw this trick in one of you guys who did my shell challenge and you did this and you put the trees in a little planter box and loved it so stealing it oh i need to add rocks i need to add rocks around there don't i <laughs> i need to do it i'm telling myself that it doesn't need it but it does it needs it so yeah it gives gives another 10 hours okay that looks fine and then like you can walk up through that bit i don't know uh i don't know if it's just looking a bit boring okay i'm gonna go ahead and like put some growing up things i'm not sure if passifloria has this pack where it adds the things that grow up i really hope that she does otherwise i'm thinking it's gonna look really boring for her i'll have i mean i'm putting them on just for the sake of this video okay i think i've done with the landscaping so i'm actually kind of proud of what i've been like <laughs> now i know i've been like slaying myself this whole time but i'm kind of proud so this is the front of the house they've got this little like exciting bit over here landscaping all around the house i'm gonna leave this bit just plain because that's a lot of garden to look after if not a little overgrown area here because why not i think i am gonna do the back garden just because i, I want to do a little bit <laughs> i want to do a little bit of the decorating so back garden here i think i'm gonna go and use maybe decking like i've got this wood deck and i like although we've not really used much wood so kind of thinking maybe not for that maybe just some tiles some like gray tiles oh this slate floor yes we'll go oh no of course oh oh it flattens it okay that's fine all right we'll do it like that and i like to end it off with this fence so if we draw that fence down oh, of course it got rid of it of course it did why would i expect anything else all right put that back down then we've got a little bit of a deck area i do want to add a swimming pool but i'm gonna see what it'd look like i'm not saying it's gonna stay because oh it look it does look it does look good it does look good okay we're gonna have a swimming pool i'm just gonna move it back there a little bit i quite like how it's made that as well maybe we can add rocks around it and it's sort of a swimming pool in the landscape Landscaping. I don't know, that looks kind of cool. So it's into the landscaping a little bit. I do feel like we just need another tree. Honestly, I can, when I start, I can't stop. No more landscaping now, Lois. No more landscaping. Add some pool ladders. I'm going to make it into like a double pool ladder because why not? Pool ladders there. We'll add some lights. Have I even made this into a pool or is this a fountain? I've made it into a fountain. How, how did I manage that? Okay, now it's an actual pool. Let's put some pool lights on the bottom. Out there, even enough, even enough. <laughs> add like a few little pool floats. Oh, we can add palm trees. One can be palm trees and another one can be more palm trees. Hey, okay, that is looking cute. So we've got a proper pool. You can barely see it, but I like that in real life with it kind of being a bit hidden away. And then in the back backyard, we can have a little barbecue area. Area. I like this as an outdoor little counter. I hope that barbecue still works even though I've merged it a little bit. Okay, if I merge this in, then we've got like a little bar area behind, which I love so much. Also, you know what, before I forget, let's add some bins in. <laughs> add the bin in hidden over there and also, of course, a mailbox. I think I'm just gonna go with like the normal mailbox. Just hide it in the plants there. Okay, so now it's a functional build because I always seem to forget that for some reason. Okay. 
Okay, last thing I'm doing, I'm just adding a plant wall because we're outside and it needs it. Okay, that's what I'm telling myself and then we're leaving it. And the rest is for Passifloria to decorate. Okay, so that is my build. It's really hard to see the back. I will go in and take some screenshots for you guys. But there's the little back garden and obviously the patio is for Passifloria to design, not me. You know what to say? I started off kind of hating it. I think it's come together and I think it's looking pretty cute. So let me know in the comments, do you like what I built today? It's kind of different from what I normally build. I don't know, interesting shape. Go check out Passiflora's video on how she decorates it because I am intrigued to see how she does it. It's not overly big, it's not scarily big. So hopefully she doesn't hate me, but make sure you check out her video and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.